informed on the specs that this model came with. It came with the Driving Assisting Plus, which means it have active blind spot protection, active driving assist, and surround view, as well as the executive package, which came with heated steer wheels, as well as the executive package that came with heating steer wheel. Why do you saying that? <laughs> as well as the executive package that came with a heated steering wheel, soft closed automatic doors, rear manual side view shades, front ventilated seats, heated rear seats, adaptive full LED lights, automatic high beams, head up display, concierge services, wireless charging, and a Wi Fi option. And the base price for this, a staggering $104,100. And the Driving Assistant Plus package was an additional $1,700. And the Executive package was another $4,700. Here in the interior of the vehicles, you can see that BMW uses nothing but the most premium materials. Here you have the carbon fiber door accessory and on the inside you have the gauge cluster and can you believe a car that this big that weighs let me see if they have the weight on here here you have the gauge cluster which when you think about a car that weighs two and a half to three tons being able to accelerate up to 200 miles per hour it's kind of mind-boggling you have the M series M with the red dark blue and light blue accents you got the display screen here as well as your dual climate control you have one two three four five six seven eight different settings for your CD changer large cup holders a, sp a special M series gear shifter and then the glove compartment very very spacious you also have carbon fiber that wraps around the entire frame of the car you have Bang and Olofsson speakers on the inside is a very very up top very plush velvety material as well as your calling for help options light on center light right light now me personally I'm six foot two and a lot of headroom up here on this side if you have passengers that are less than six feet tall, they should have no problem sitting in this middle seat. Um, me, on the other hand, I'm pretty tall, so it is slightly uncomfortable. And at the bottom, um, I don't have a lot of foot space. I have to like squeeze my knees in, and as a guy, we all know that's pretty uncomfortable to have to do that. But here at the back of the vehicle, you see this gorgeous, gorgeous X6M model. And to open the door, just pop it back up and let it raise up on its own. Here is your security blanket in the back just in case you have some valuables back there that you don't need other people seeing. And it folds very, very much like a convertible top door. Or, sorry, convertible top hood. back of this particular model yeah it's brand new so yeah the floor mats that haven't even been put in the car yet the floor mats that are in there now are for like people like me who are just grateful enough to be able to come uh, take a video of it and other just pedestrians who might want to come try the car out and not to they don't want to like dirty up the real floor mats but to close the trunk just simply press the button located next to the lock button Here back in the front of the vehicle, we have this very nice M-Series key fob with the unlock button. The BMW emblem is the lock button, trunk opening button, and then the alarm system. In order to start the car, you want to push on the brake, 
while having the key fob in the vicinity and then it's a push to start every time nothing beats an M series BMW startup and now we're gonna take it to the back so I, guys, so I can show you guys a cold start on it can't, oh, I can't get over this here at the bottom of the base of the wheel you see this gorgeous BMW logo as well as the M series sign right here and these amazing gorgeous sexy whatever you want to call it that that just this electric blue M series caliper just so amazing so amazing uh, you can't talk enough you can't say enough good things about BMW and especially about their M series Hopefully one day I'll be able to own one, but for now, uh, I'll be just as satisfied with touching one. Your estimated miles per gallon is 14 in the city, and your estimated miles per gallon in the, on the highway is 19. The car weighs 5,190 pounds which is was astonishing like you'll be really really surprised when I tell you what the 0 to 60 time is for a car that big but um it has 567 horsepower with a twin turbo V8 and 8 speed automatic and it's all wheel drive and up to 100% of the torque can be rerouted to the front or rear wheels uh and the 0 to 60 time which I thought was crazy for a car this big 5,190 pounds and go from 0 to 60 in 3 Point eight seconds is mind blowing. It's astonishing. It's crazy. Um, and the top speed for it though, because it is bigger. And this is my favorite car, and I'm so glad and fortunate that Dion, the sales representative that was helping me, was allowing me to come out there on his time to show this video to you guys. So definitely, definitely, if you guys get the chance, uh, I'll leave the address right here, and then I'll also leave Dion's name like around here. And so please, please go out there and support him. 100% uh, sure he can get you into a car, your dream car, whether it be something you need for a couple of years, whatever the case may be. I'm pretty, I'm pretty 100% sure he can get you into a car for a price that you're comfortable with. Um, he's actually working with me. I graduate college in about a year. So next fall, next December, around like December 15th, be when I'm graduating and I'm definitely first thing I'm doing after my graduation party because I know I have a lot of people coming in after that graduation party I'm going straight over to Global Imports BMW chop it up my man Dion and hopefully I don't know what will be in stock around that time because like their cars move so fast but definitely gonna be going straight over to Dion to try and get myself my dream car like I put in four and a half years to try and get this degree and I need some type of reward to show besides the diploma like diploma is nice and all but I'd rather have my BMW that I've wanted ever since I was 16 and I should have it by the time next year hopefully if everything goes as planned if I don't have any unforeseen mishaps definitely going that straight up to Dion and signing on the dotted line getting my my brand new BMW but uh, and just before I forget, the top speed for the X6 is 156 miles per hour. But unfortunately, we weren't able to finish the video. It is what it is. No looking back. Keep moving forward. But this has been a great, great experience. And I really appreciate all the people at Global Imports and Dion especially for allowing me to come shoot that video with them. Thank you.